Hello and welcome back to another FIFA 23 player review. Today's player review is the brand new end of an era Mesut Ozil, so let's get into it. As always I start off with the team for the player review and to be honest this has actually probably been one of my favourite teams throughout all my player reviews this year. It is a Bundesliga, Serie A, Turkish League, German, it's just an absolute amalgamation of things but it was a fantastic team to use over the three games so let's look at my stats for Ozil after my three Rivals games. As you can see on the screen I played three games in Rivals, scored seven goals and got four assists so let's head into the gameplay. Into the gameplay for Ozil we go in the first clip as you can see getting an assist from a corner then Bino Gittens passing it to Ozil now it does look like I've sweated it to him technically I have but I knew I wasn't going to score with Gittens then Ozil running through making it 5-4 I did actually get an equaliser in the last minute into the second game Ozil on the ball dribbling through basically his whole defence and as I said, weaker right foot has been upgraded and you did see that from the finish. Ozil yet again, just, I mean, he's a fantastic card. That is all I can say. And then in the final minute of the second game, passing it through to Mario Gomez, who I've actually also got to add, he's very good. This Final game, Ozil, weaker right foot, crossing it into Gomez, then it's basically from kickoff, Ozil into Gomez once again, and as I said, this team was actually really enjoyable to use, this time Gomez returning the favour, outside of the foot, shot, Travella some people would call it. I mean, I don't know how Edison hasn't saved that. But regardless, <laughs> I don't know why I did that celebration. It does seem a little bit toxic. This is the final clip of the gameplay. So I will be back with the pros and cons in a second. So now that you've seen the gameplay, moving on to the pros and cons of Ozil. Starting off with the pros. The first would be his shooting, as you did see in the gameplay, scored 7 goals in 3 games which, to be honest, is the return of a good striker on this game. His passing is absolutely fantastic, now I did put an engine on him, he pretty much maxes out his passing. Then his dribbling, he has 94 agility and 98 balance with an engine, 99 ball control, 94 composure. His dribbling is absolutely fantastic and to be honest it really does replicate the way that he did play in real life then five star skill moves is also good to be honest doesn't really bother me but the big one is his upgraded weak foot up to four stars and to be honest he's just an incredible card overall onto the cons of ozil the first is his pace now even with an engine, he has 90 acceleration and 88 sprint speed. But I'm telling you right now, he's unbelievably slow. I don't know why he just doesn't sprint. It's like running through treacle. But because his dribbling so good, it's not too much of an issue. Because you just don't sprint with him. It's a very easy resolution. Then 50 jumping. Don't even bother crossing the ball to him. He's not winning anything in the air. I tried it a couple times and that was it because I saw that he was never ever going to win the ball in the air. 85 stamina. He is dead about the 60th minute but he was an absolute trooper in the games that I played. He did carry on because I just didn't take him off. But I would probably say he's better as a super sub because late game... Because of his high agility and balance and just his dribbling overall, he'll be a fantastic super sub. Strength at 80, I mean that's a lie. 
that is definitely a lie. It might be about 60. He did get bullied off the ball quite a lot, but he was a fantastic card regardless. So would I recommend completing End of an Era Meza Ozil? And for me, it is a definite yes. He's coming in at around 160k, which to be honest, I think is actually quite good value for this card. Now, his shooting, passing, dribbling is absolutely incredible. His pace is just really strange because it should be better than it is, but he just always feels like he's running in treacle. And then his strength, I mean, is just non-existent. But if he's getting past defenders, there's just no stopping him. As you saw, he got 11 goal contributions in three games. And for me, this is probably the most accurate representation of any footballer on any FIFA. Because what he lacked in pace, or what he didn't show in pace, his technical ball playing ability was unbelievable. And for me, Ozil will definitely either be a hero or an icon in the future because he is definitely one of the best cams to have ever played football. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like. Comment down below if you're going to be completing End of an Era, Mesut Ozil. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button to not miss out on any FIFA 23 content. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.